So I know you guys are probably waiting on some gameplay, some ranked matches, or some survival mode. And it's coming, I'm just editing all of that stuff, and it'll probably be up within the next one or two days. One of them will probably be up tomorrow, at the latest. And I really wanted to talk about a few other things before we actually get into that. And that is the story of Street Fighter V. It seems to be adding up from these little prologues, because these aren't actually the stories of the characters. These are just little prologues until the real story in June actually comes out as the free DLC download that you can download to the game so that you can play the full actual story which is supposed to be about one to two hours long. I don't think you're actually going to actually get to fight in that story more. I think it's just going to be a kind of like a mini movie because it looks like it's going to be a mini movie type of thing. Hopefully it is and hopefully it's not at the same time. Hopefully it kind of goes in from a cutscene kind of like how they did here but it's more dramatic and then you go into the fight and then it goes back to cutscene. But regardless of that, that's not what I'm here to talk about. Let's here to talk about the obvious and the possibilities. The obvious is that we know that the final fight is going to be Nikolai versus Evil Ryu. Possibilities is Nikolai beats Evil Ryu, but I don't see that happening. This is the reason why I don't see that happening, because Nikolai is searching for Evil Ryu's power. He keeps on talking about the red power will burn eventually. So we know Evil Ryu is going to come out and he's going. he's the only way that Ryu can defeat Nikolai. That is literally the only way. We've already seen in the opening. They literally gave away the story in the opening. Nikolai fights Ryu. Ryu can't sustain his power anymore. His power is burning. It's time for the Sigur no Hado to come out. The Sigur no Hado comes out. And inevitably, we don't know what's going to happen in this showdown. We just know that evil Ryu, it's going to be Evil Ryu versus Nikolai. Now, it's a possibility. Akuma may come out of nowhere and kill Nikolai. That is a strong possibility. So... We don't know what's going on. No, we haven't seen Akuma. Akuma may not, probably not going to be playable if he does show up. And I don't, I'm a, I wouldn't be surprised if he's playable within the next set of DLC characters. Because I've already kind of marked who probably will who probably will not be in the next DLC character. We know for sure, most definitely Sakura, Evil Ryu, and um, that um, Azam guy from... The Azam guy is probably going to be in the next game. Probably Sean too, and then the rest are probably new characters. But, but, I'm trying to figure out how, if Evil Ryu is supposed to be the core makeup of the fight between Nikolai, the person that's supposed to take down Nikolai, or not take down Nikolai, depending on if they make Nikolai win or not, because right now Nikolai is absorbing niggas like he's still right now. So, if that is supposed to be the final showdown of Ryu before he gets his all peace mode, I can't remember the name of it for nothing then Evil Ryu has to eventually become a playable character, which I see there being a part two to the story DLC package thingy as well. Which I wouldn't be a proper problem with if they keep extending the story depending on the characters that they add to it. Like say Nikolai's Revenge or some shit. So Nikolai is really kind of striking me as a brawly type of character. Super strong, here to absorb everybody's power and get stronger and stronger and stronger. I know Brawly doesn't absorb people's power, but him and Nikolai have similar traits. Nikolai is like a mixture of Brawly and Cell put in one. And that is an ugly combination. But overall, what do you guys think is going to happen in the story mode of Street Fighter V? I know you guys are waiting for some gameplay. I got gameplay already. I'm working on it in Sony Vegas and all of that. I'm just editing it. I'm, you know, just parting it together so it's not... You're, you're going to love it when you see it. So just stay tuned, guys. Just keep on keep the watch out for it. And it'll be up very, very soon. A lot of stuff else in real life has actually been happening. So I've kind of had slowed down on some of the editing that I've been doing. That's why yesterday you didn't see a video. But I'll make sure that I will have at least one video up a day. Because that's what you guys expect. Overall, like I said before, before tell me in the comment section below. What do you guys think is going to happen? Do you think Nikolai is going to be Evil Ryu? Or do you think Evil Ryu is going to defeat Nikolai? Or do you think Evil Ryu and, and Ryu is going to have like a team up thing to where... Even Ryu eventually allows Ryu to tap into that power and use it to his free will whenever he wants to in terms of he has full control over him. He doesn't go on on a berserk and start killing people. That would be nice. Kind of like what Akuma can do because Akuma, he had learned how to 
sustain his he can control his at his own will he can uh, tap into it whenever he wants to and he's not on a bloodthirsty rage you don't see akuma going through and just wiping niggas out for no reason akuma fights people that are worthy to fight him he's always been looking for a worthy opponent and i think that's what he at the end of the day wants Ryu to do learn how to sustain and control his power but not run away from it but i'll see you guys in the next video hope you guys enjoyed this one and i'm out <laughs> Do they really got your back? Do they really got your back?